Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, just dealt with Rego and Barbos, only to have a new threat, apparently, just come out of nowhere, right after we thought the worst of it had come to pass. Apparently now there's monsters flying around the Guild City. Again. Monsters we've never seen before. Oh no! What can we do? So now we're gonna have to... Whoa. Now we're gonna have to try and help. Whoa. Did I just see blood or something? Okay. What is going on here? Good question. Yuri, protect her highness. Yuri, look! Ah. This way, foul fiend. Why is it just ignoring us? Is it coming for me? It seems to... The commandant. But why is he here? Because something's up. Our finest knights. I am left with no choice. We will stop this beast with the help of Heracles. The help of Yuri, what? wait! There's nothing more you can do! Huh. You expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. Um, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this is now the first time a monster talks. Okay, I may have just woken up, but you can't be throwing this sort of thing right in my face. First thing, <laughs> game, this is not making any sense. It can speak. Who, who are you? Yuri! Okay, well. You're safe. Yep. There's the Heracles they were talking about. Maybe? I don't know. What is that? Good question. Heracles! Whoa! We gotta get out of here! Oop. <laughs> Accidentally popped my shoulder while trying to scratch my neck. <laughs> that was not fun. Okay, yeah, we gotta get out of here. I'm going to leave the city and continue my journey. What do you mean? If you're going back to the capital, you shouldn't keep Flynn waiting. It's for you to decide. Then I... I want to continue the journey as well. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Live too close. Yeah, get out of there. This is this is about time to get out of there for good. Or at least until this issue is resolved. Judith? Don't! It's too dangerous! Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. I want to know why she's what so calm it about it. That's a good question, too. Yuri, 
Lady Estelis, wait! Here comes the cavalry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Flynn. I realize now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. Understandable. Your Highness! Flynn, get this core back to the lower quarter. I was about to say, with that kind of just lackluster a throw, I was wondering if it would reach past that gap, but holy crap, that is an even wider gap than I thought. Yuri! I won't be going back to the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Alrighty. Yuri! A guild? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I finally made up my mind. That's fine, but what about Princess? Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! All right, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us. Probably. Handed over the uh, Blastia Core. Estelle earned the Seeker of the Truth title. Interesting. Reunited with Estelle and Judith. And... That huge flying monster actually talked, right? You ever heard of a monster like that? I've never seen or heard of anything like that. I don't think anybody in the Hunting Blades has. Man, first that thing at Karabakram, and now this. The world's just full of surprises. I don't care how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough to fight that thing. Yeah, not even I feel like taking on a monster like that. Yeah, I don't... Okay. I know we gotta get out of town, but I'm dying here! So, um... Why is Judith coming along with us anyway? Good question. With the circumstances being what they are, this is just how things turned out. I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. A little Just ahead. how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until there. What? <laughs> Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving. All right, so Heliord we go. Uh, I just don't remember where that is. But uh, since I have... Oh, they're all healed up. There's no reason to do anything. All right, I'm going to move... Judith into that spot there and we're going to call that good but I was going to say well if they're talking about rest might as well put up a tent and use that but uh there was no reason to what happened to taking a break it's probably a good time it looks like no one is following us anymore How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? I don't believe that for a second. Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. Alrighty. When we have time to take a longer rest, we've got to decide a few things about our guilt. Like... What is it with you and taking breaks? <laughs> That's a good question. It's all of a sudden he just wants to take every break he can. 
What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big! That's a really simple goal. And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves! Interesting thought. That way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city! That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. Interesting. So you're his deferring leadership of this guild that he's starting to Carol. Okay. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah! <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? <laughs> Do you think they'd let you? The most could... important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Yep. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. Ooh, scary. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. Alrighty. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... He hadn't gotten that far into his thought process, did he? <laughs> Everybody's supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All That's... for the guild and the guild for all. That's an outline that can easily be abused. But okay. Do justice and punish the unjust. Still a motto that can be used very badly, but fair enough. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri! That's okay. That's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. There we go. You sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes, you've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? <laughs> I pledge to uphold the laws. For the guild's sake, and my own. How about your partner? Thanks for your concern, but it's all right. He won't mind. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. Yeah. Huh. I didn't know you had someone like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have known, would you? I mean, like, no one really told you about that, huh? Okay. So from today on, hmm. we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. There we go. Me too. Woof. Then I... <laughs> okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. Hmm. Thanks. For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? Nah, not at all. You're so evasive. You're one to talk. Huh. Weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Really? Did you now? Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. I joined because I wanted to. That's it? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, everyone's wishes are respected, right? Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will. But in my own way. All right. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. Isn't it lovely? Sure. Lovely. <laughs> Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking. Well, there you go. All right. Oh, Yuri. 
Well, hello. Hey, you're not asleep? No. Is something the matter? No. I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. Oh, yeah? I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really going to put your all into this guild, aren't you? I'd like to say I'm just going to go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't <laughs> slack off now. Yeah, no, no, you can't. Carol certainly seems happy. I'm a bit jealous. Oh, does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? If I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? So she's considering it. If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. There well, you go. Don't think too hard about it. <laughs> <laughs> How can I decide? That's up to you. What? You're not asleep? Nah. I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be important too, huh? I'm gonna think of something really cool. <laughs> sure. sure. I can't wait. Mm hmm. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up, or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? Oh no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. I'm really happy that I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. <laughs> What a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> <laughs> I... Oh! What now? Good question. What I thought now? of a name! The Super Ultra Courageous Braves! <sighs> Let's put a little more work into it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carroll would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that, then. Right! Super Ultra Courageous Braves. Okay. Okay, do I just talk with them until sleep Repeat. happens, or what? You're keeping watch, too, huh? So, we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. <laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. <laughs> you should get some rest, too. Yeah, about that. Anyway, I have to give my answer, don't I? Yeah, eventually. Let's give it all we got, okay? And does that mean we just leave now or what? So you want to play some more? What a bore. What? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? There's no point in going out there alone. Well, I don't know what else to do then. Yeah. Okay, well... Huh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I just wait? Or... What? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, talk What's to that? repeat again. Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? <laughs> okay. So I just needed to talk to repeat again. That was rather obtuse. You couldn't have just said that. All right. Let's All rest. Right. I'll get some rest then. 
Thanks, Repeat. I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle, what are you gonna do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Don't All feel right. like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I have a feeling Judith might have an idea. I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Why was I not surprised? And his name was Pharaoh? Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desire continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. Thank you for the exposition. Now I know. The continent of Desire. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. I mean, you say that. He's right, you know. Yeah. I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kogor. Hmm. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. Hmm. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yep. Yeah, but are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. That's a fair point. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Mm. Hey, you're right. We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. True. That's right. But if this is a real job, we'll have to charge Estelle our fee. <laughs> well, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope. No exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. <laughs> That's fine. In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. All right, promise of money after this job is done. I guess that's good enough for everyone else here. This way we can all continue the journey. All right, super ultra courageous braves, fall out! W what is that? Huh? <laughs> that's our guild's name! <sighs> we can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. She's also got a point. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia? It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. She also brought up the name of the game, so there we go. The brightest star. Cool. Brave Vesperia. Hmm. Huh. I like it. Let's stick with that. I like that far more than what Carol came up with. Okay, that settles it. Brave Vesperia. Let's get to Torrin okay. Harbor and charter a boat. We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier. Didn't you want to take a break at Halyard? Who needs it? <laughs> Either way, we can't get to Torm without passing through Heliord. I swear, this... <laughs> Carol sounds and acts like Ash from the Pokemon series. 
complains until there's a Pokemon battle <laughs> or something to do, and then he's ripping raring to go. Gods, damn it. <laughs> okay. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that would be nice to know. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Alright, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia, fall out! Alrighty. Carol earned the Brave Vesperia leader title. Cool. Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Well, it's not like I'll be doing it all on my own. Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've been thinking about it myself for a while now, too. I quit the Knights to find my own way of doing things, but I hadn't done anything. What Flynn said to you back in the port town, that got to you, didn't it? Nothing that guy says could get to me. He doesn't like to admit his feelings, does he? No. Well. Called out. Called the fuck out. Alright, there's Heliord. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Damn it. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Ow. 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 Oh. Okay, that worked out better than I thought. That's what happens when I get serious. Well, <laughs> you say that, and then our grade was like negative point oh seven. But hey, eh, could have been worse. And it won't let me in to that for some reason. I really have no idea where we're supposed to be going, if that's not the way. Okay, so that's where we left, so... Where am I supposed to go? What the... What the... What the... What? Okay. Oh my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, a little? this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Makes now sense, that you considering. It, maybe... Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. The construction huh. work. Interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all... We need to go check on the Blastia, too. True. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. Yeah. So then, let's go! To the inn! Alrighty. To the inn. He sure is getting into it. Oh, yeah. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well... Come on, we should hurry to the inn. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache. I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. True. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 
<laughs> aye, aye, Captain. That seems to be what you're doing, Carol. It's almost to the point of insanity. Well, hello. Uh, in and shop. Why not? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Wanted to talk to the shop. Got new weapons in, huh? Alright. Let's see what you got. Huh. Huh. High power yo-yo. An ore. Okay. Now we're at the weapons I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, a high-powered yo-yo and an ore as weapons. And the fact that they're stronger than the weapons <laughs> that they're currently carrying. Okay. Pointed hat. Really? The pointed hat? And a tartan ribbon. Well, I mean... Hmm. Long coat. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, equip. Equip her with the long coat. There we go. Halberd. Uh, oh, she hasn't gotten everything out of the war pike yet. Then she goes with the halberd. Oh, I see. This does a lot more physical defense, but... This does a lot more attack. Okay. Still, the fact that the war pike is weaker than an ore. <laughs> I don't know what else to feel about that. Except baffled. Uh, okay. Alright. Once he gets strength 2. Once she gets medical boost. Huh. Not sure where else to go with those. She did get a new sword, though. The Basilard. Which would lower magical attack, but increase physical attack significantly. Hmm. That might be worth it. A little? Alright. Synthesis. Let's go... and see what we can do with that. Huh. Hmm. It's currently equipped with it, so I don't want to upgrade it yet. Oh! I would just need tough leather to do that. Okay. Interesting. So once she earns that last thing, then I can go to Warp Pike plus one. Interesting. Okay. Okay, then. Chain. Chain a whip. It's already done. But then she hasn't learned anything from the chain whip yet. So don't want to do chain whip plus one yet. Alright, okay, um... Oh, well, I can make this now. Interesting. That's good. Hmm...
I'm sorry, what? Rebirth doll. Statue symbolizing sacrifice automatically resurrects KO'd wearer one time. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, um... Hmm. Blue talisman. Warrior symbol. Thief's cape. Okay. Alright. I apologize that this whole ordeal is now taking longer than I intended. But at this point now I realize I need some money. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of money to my name. Okay, let's go with 16 there. 3, 1, 1. Some of these I'm not sure if I'll get more of or not. So I'm kind of loath to sell as many of them as I am. But others I know I can get more of, so... There we go. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. Probably should have saved, but meh. Well, seems a blasty is okay. Ish. Can we go in here? Yes, we can, but there's no one in here, so there's no point. Because of the Kumor Brigade and our resource management that this town is developing, commoners should accept their place under our control. Wow. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey. This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment, too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, well. Torm is just ahead. Let's search this place some more before moving on. Okay, so I'm not allowed to go out. That's fair. I just don't know what else we're supposed to be doing. Hey, you there. No loitering allowed. Now move along. Okay. So, what should I be doing? This town is rotten. What do you mean, what? Knights are bound by confidentiality, I cannot say. Oh, okay. I don't know if I have to rest or what. Not sure. Well, here's the room that, that we were resting in. Okay, so I'm lost. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing. And, uh, to be fair, I don't have a lot of time recording anyway, so... Repeat's an honorary member of Brave Vesperia too, isn't he? Of course he is. But everyone who joins the guild has to swear to uphold its laws, don't they? Well, in his case... What are you all worried about? Repeat knows the laws. There have been lots of times when I just know Repeat understands what we're saying. I know how you feel. Yeah, I don't know. Well, how about it, Repeat? He just went to mark his territory. <laughs> well, hey, that's his right. Okay, so with that, I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. Because uh, I need to figure out what we're doing next. And uh, mentally reset 
for the next episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and trying to do what I can to help, uh, well, I guess Estelle and Carol realize their dreams. Judith just seems to be along for the ride. And, uh, right now, I guess we're going to check out what's going wrong with, uh, Heliord before we head off to Torum Harbor. And then we head off from there to the desert to then try and hunt down that talking monster. Hopefully it won't cause any shenanigans, but we all know it will for you.